and welcome back to Batty Bloomers. Um, today I'm going to be planting some succulents and I thought I would just show you some of the containers that I got. I was just at a, an auction, um, an estate auction, and I got a bunch of really cute planters. And I just wanted to show you the planters and then I'm going to be planting these up, maybe not all of them, but some of them with succulents. Um, I have this uh, succulent planter that I had outside and now the fall is coming. These are tender and I don't want to lose them, especially this one. And if you look, he's a little leggy. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to cut this and replant the big part. But if you look on the stem, there's um, new growth. So if I cut that, this will get bushy again, I hope. And this will regrow also. And then also over here, this one, uh, is trying to root, wants to be in some soil, so I'm gonna probably chop that off and see what I can do here with that one. And um, have a couple my daughter just brought outside that I didn't take good care of inside. You can see this is very wilted. Poor plant. So I'm gonna try to, and it's very leggy. And the same with this one here. So I'm gonna try to revive these. I gave them a good drink. And I'm going to try to make some cute planters. There is a yellow jacket that's plaguing me today, trying to sting me, I think. Where is he? Keeps hanging around my workbench. <laughs> Scaring me off. It's just a yellow jacket. You'd think it was a grizzly bear. Anyway, so, oh, there he is. Look. Okay, <laughs> stop being afraid of a yellow jacket. So I have this lovely milk glass planter that I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I'll put in it yet. I have this beautiful teal colored one. I have this light blue and I have another one of these inside that's a little bit uh, darker blue. I don't have anything planted in it, but um, it's pretty like that. I thought this one was really cool. Looks almost Egyptian. It says it's wow, 1962 in Arco, Cleveland, Ohio. So I have no idea what that is, but I like the planner. I might put just one in there. Maybe this one. That would look kind of cool in there. Not sure yet. I have this really cool fish fish planter, and this one. And this green one back here with the leaf design on it. And then back here is a really thin tray that would be perfect for succulents. So we'll see. I probably won't put succulents in all this stuff, but some of it for sure. All right, let's get started. Also, I forgot these over here. Uh, these are also ones that my daughter brought out for me that I was trying to kill, not on purpose. Um, so I'm giving them a little drink and then hopefully they'll perk up and we'll see about planting some of this stuff. The other day I was um, going to show you uh, as I planted up succulents, um, but we thought the camera was recording and it wasn't. So I thought I'd just show you what I did with the planters that I showed the other day. Um, so here are a few of them. Here is the green one with the leaf design right here. Put a succulent in that one. The fish planter. I put a succulent that sort of trails out over. Thought that'd be kind of cool. Uh, here's that pretty blue one. Uh, and it looks a little empty, but I'm gonna I just gave those room to fill in and I put a few starter leaves in there leaves in there. Um, <clears throat> this is one a, a planter I had my sister gave me and I put this succulent in it and I just thought I'd bring it in because it's a tender one. And then this is that flat that shallow green uh, planter <clears throat> and I just I c broke off a bunch of different succulent leaves to start them in here. And I thought it would be kind of fun to make a cool design. So that's what I did with that one. And then over this way, 
I have a few more. So I have this pot that I showed you. And I just put more starters in there. And then over on my bookshelf. Here's that cool Egyptian planner. I put that big tender succulent in it. Thought that looked pretty cool. And then the other, one of my other favorites, that's one of my favorite planners, and the fish one, and then this one is my other favorite. This little teal one. And I don't know if these will do well here. It is beside a window, but uh, we'll see. But I thought I'd show you what I did with those, most of those planters. I have a few left out there that I have to figure out what to do with. So, thought I'd show you that. Alright, thank you for watching.